bow, 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 bow. Yeah, the loading screens take forever on this. Well, at least the initial one does. Okay, so last we met, I made it to my Radiant Pillar. And um, I connected my my exosuit and got the instructions that I need to do my uh, repairs. So let's go over here and start with this. Where'd it go? Ah! Damaged. Alright. Right trigger harvest. We'll put that in the exosuits. Nice. Okay, um, where's the... there it is. That's what I was looking for. Scenario. Iteration number 23118766161T. Deleted. Boundary separation. Failure likely. Vessel 16 empty. Cause. Sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. Analysis. Fresh iteration. Generated. That would be me. Anomaly contained. Containment prepared. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position log. System integri integrity scan initialized. Nice. I need some weird noise from that. Okay, so there's some settings I want to mess with. Namely, um, control options and this one. Movement direction. I want to make it. Let's try body relative. Um, all right, so I don't know what this is actually going to do, so let's give it a shot. Okay, so even if I turn, my body is still going forward, so I gotta use a stick to turn, which is fine. It means I can look around and still continue in the direction I was moving in. But it's probably not my favorite. Let's try the other control options. Um, what was it? Head relative. Let's try that. Okay, but the body doesn't turn unless you turn your stick, which is kind of weird. So you've got to kind of stay still if you want to use the body. I love flying in this. Now, you would think that me, who gets VR sick from Ultra Wings, would not like flying in No Man's Sky, but the truth is actually very much the case. <laughs> okay, collect ferrite dust, craft metal plating, repair pulse engine. Okay, I can do that. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. I'm looking for rocks. Rocks, 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 rocks. How come I can't find any rocks when I need them? Uh, looks like we're still streaming, so we should be okay. There's gotta be some rocks nearby somewhere, right? Um, quick menu. Looks like we're it. We're doing okay. Life support. Okay. Maybe some heights will help me find some rocks. There we go. Must be down below 98%, 95%. Crafting, crafting. Press Y to read more. Okay, so making money, crafting. Crafting advanced products is a great way to earn money. Mine metals from resource deposits found using the analysis visor. That's the LG. 
left grip, mine using the terrain manipulator. Advanced users with the survey device upgrade analysis visor can make use. Do you really, do I, do I really need to read all this? Do you think I need to read all this? I don't think I need to read all this. I think we can figure it out. So, all right, so we craft with inventory and we choose this spot, choose an empty spot. Why does it keep bouncing around? Um, maybe I didn't need to read the instructions. Use right trigger, okay. Yeah, left trigger, okay. Let's try that again. That did not go well. Why does it keep doing that? It says, access your inventory, use right trigger to craft an empty slots, right? All right, inventory. Exosuit. There we go. I don't know why. Oh, that must be too far away from the ship. That makes sense. Alright, let's go ahead and head back to the ship. Um, I don't see it on my scope. Where is it? Oh no. How come I can't? I don't have a compass. This, a little trick, collect JP, JPs, go to your inventory. If you use these, A, it will increase your toxicity, or it'll help with the toxicity, the life support recharged. Those have oxygen. There's my ship. In fact, I think I'm gonna get rid of the body. I don't think I don't like the way that it interacts with the environment when you're walking around. It doesn't move with you like it should. See now I'm looking behind me, my hands have moved with me. If I turn, the body should turn. I mean without my joystick. If I physically turn it, then the body should turn. Developers, get on that. <laughs> They're like, yeah, Paul, we'll get right on that, Mr. 33 subscribers. Alright, so let's patch the metal plating onto the pulse engine. In the Starship inventory, find the pulse engine, then begin repair with right trigger. Okay, so we go to inventory. There it is, and right trigger. Oh, we still need a hermetic seal, but it's, that's okay. It'll tell me to find one. Mm -hmm. Auto diagnosis, self guided repair. Those iteration numbers keep getting longer. It's functional. Starship critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. I think we need some assistance. Recommendation. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal in your eye. Salvage planetary chart from distressed beacon cache. All right. So I think that's what this video is going to be about, is repairing the ship and getting us off the ground. So we need to gather, search the crash site for supplies, search the distress beacon for a cache for supplies located. And that's over there. I love doing that. Oh my god, that's so wild. This is with my stomach. Okay. I peer inside the beacon's housing as well as its distress broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart. Oh, give me that. Okay. So, planetary chart recovered. Open the inventory to view data. Highlight the chart and use A to plot a route. Inventory. Planetary charts. A. Plot a route. Which way is it? There. That way. 800 units and it's getting dark, which means it's probably going to get cold. And I have no nitrogen, so let's see if I can find some nitrogen. I got some O2 right there. It's pretty close. I think I could. Can... Yeah, babe, I'm on it. She's such a good AI. Looks out for me. I can't wait till I get an AI that takes care of me like that. I think we all deserve AIs to take care of us, don't you? 
Oh, right. Yeah, that's unhuman and anti-nature. Well, I got some thoughts on that. Maybe someday I'll start sharing this. Hey, damaged material. Put that in my exosuit. What'd I get? Upgrade! I got an S upgrade module! Nice! The thermal protection module, which I'd rather have some toxicity protection, but that's okay. I just, let's go ahead and... Oh, crap! How do you install A? Let's get this... Enough screwing around here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A knowledge stone. Wisdom of the Corvax. Here we go. Bakhodin. 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 Yan, yan, yan. Right here. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A robotic life form turns toward me. Light streams from their metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture towards me, except the knowledge. The name Corvax floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. How's my... Hold on. Uh, quick menu. 79, 79. Ooh, this is not good. This is a storm. This stuff's going to start dropping pretty fast. And I still got 400 meters. There's got to be a... Cave around here somewhere, right? Jeez Louise. Hey, buddy. I should adopt one of those animals and ride it. There's gotta be a cave around here somewhere. Also, I need to change my controls. I don't like the directional with the head mounted display. Oof. Okay, how much closer am I? There it is. Oh, good, it's a building. I can recharge there. And there's a cave right there next to where I'm going, which is. Uh oh, I'm glitching get inside. Alright. Good deal, good deal. Let's uh, collect our accessing archive. Six out of seven logs corrupted. Entry number 4924A follows. No one <laughs> making this recording in case <laughs> leaving behind <laughs> In the fabricator, cause it might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Recover supplies. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I leave the hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Noise. Starship repair. Find hermetic seal. Locate hermetic seal. Check. All right. How much more? Yeah, I'm definitely turning off the body. Okay. I'm sorry. I just this doesn't work very well for me. I like the hands better. And I'm turning off the the head relative and put it back on world relative and disable the body. Okay. Start should be playing. Oh, sweet. 
Navigation data. Starship repair. Find hermetic seal. Use analysis by advisor to locate starship. Raise your left hand beside your head, then press LG left left grip to toggle. Oh no kidding. Okay, so I need Analysis visor requires installation. Analysis visor, binocular tagging device. The analysis visor is a planetary exploration device. Cool. It can be used to analyze flora, fauna, commercially valuable data. Looks like I need some nanotubes. Hopefully I have the blueprint for nanotubes. Alright. Open the inventory. Select empty slots. And the multi-tool. Okay. Okay, so. Alright, so it's gonna let me know that I don't have nanotubes. So I need to gather carbon. Craft carbon nanotubes, mine carbon. I have four out of fifty. Oh, already at maximum health. Ooh, some nanites. Right? Okay, so my hands can change my direction when I turn now. That's good. Let's click. Can I? Do I have my... How come I can't? Thank you. Okay, so now you go to inventory. Make the tool. Make sure you install Boltcaster. I never really use either of those. Well, I use Boltcaster. It needs chromatic metal and stuff. Entity, Paul David, 1974. You did not need to see that. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Okay, so I need carbon. Hey, how handy. They have a bunch of carbon right around me. That should be enough, right? Now I can craft carbon nanotubes with a trigger and I can only build those one at a time. There's no way to up how many I can build. That's disappointing. Might have to do some research on that. All right. We have analysis operational, our visor status is operational, our compass status is operational, recommendation test the analysis visor, analyze objects for valuable rewards and additional resources, analyze objects. Okay, so raise your left hand beside your head, press the left grip to toggle, aim at objects with the multi-tool and hold right trigger to analyze. All right. There's a biological entity, we'll scan it. Oh, sweet, okay. Oh, I can tag things too, that, okay.
Okay, I don't have to hold grip either. So I'm looking for my ship. That's now on my compass, and now I can. All right. Cool. She said shooting star. Now I have my compass up there. That's what I was what. That's what I needed the analysis visor. I knew that. I totally knew that. I don't know why anybody would think I didn't know that. I totally did. Hey, big boy. I don't have any treats to give you yet. I, I can't adopt you yet. Sorry. Maybe next time. Just don't poop on me. Oh, I was trying to land in that flower. I wonder if I can. It won't let me just go straight up. Oh well. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time on that. Man, I can't wait till I can fly for like 20 seconds. It's gonna be so off the chain. So cool. 400 units over. I should be collecting dihydrogen and stuff like that. But it's kind of fun to collect it as I need it too, you know, instead of trying to preempt myself. I'm not doing a speed run, I'm not trying to do anything special. I'm, I'm playing the game as I go. And I do have a lot of hours on the Xbox console, but so I'm familiar with the game, but the controls are different for the Oculus or for uh, the VR version, the Steam VR version, which is what I'm playing. I'm playing the Steam VR version in a MetaQuest 2 using Pluto Sphere because um, I don't have a gaming rig. This is the only way I can make it work. And it's working pretty good, um, provided I don't run out of credits before I get too far. I think I had like two hours worth of playtime paid for at the moment. I might try using um, shadow.tech next. All right, so I'm back to my ship, and it looks like what I need to do, repair the pulse engine, ask the access starship inventory, and repair items. All right, I think I know how to do that. Let's go to inventory, in the starship. Um, it's asking me to repair this with a metal plating and a hermetic seal. I've got the hermetic seal now, so we'll repair that. I've already done the plating. Nice. There we go. Look at that. So what's next? Next we need to repair the launch thruster. thruster. Uh, vertical takeoff system, vital launch and landing gear system, highly damaged, requires the hydrogen jelly and pure, pure ferrides. Construct a portable refiner and process pure ferrite. This technology is critically damaged. Uh, okay, so I need 50 pure ferrites, one to hydrogen. Left trick. Alright. So I need to make a. I don't like this. Is there a way to move? All right. Anyway, um, select the parts. Oh, I need a metal plate. All right, so go into inventory. Uh, exosuits. Can I build a metal plate right now? I can. I do have enough of that. And um, go back into my build menu. Choose the portable refiner. I want to place him right over here next to my ship. Look how big it is. Alright, back in my circle. It's cool. Wish I could touch it. For real. Alright, so begin refining. It needs carbon. I need carbon. I need the hydrogen. Or, um, that blue stuff over there. And I need some ferrite, so let's start collecting that. But I think I have some carbon to get, at least get us started. And I think I have some, yeah, I collected a little bit of this. I need 
40 dihydrogen, so I need 15 more dihydrogen. Put back in my exosuit. Alright, let's do that. You know what? Before we do anything though, I need to charge some things. enough carbon in case I need more to do the refinery. And there's some ferrite dust. Look like some of that. There we go. So many animals on this planet. That's so cool. There we go. Nice little field of dihydrogen going on for us. Expect a bunch of this stuff. There's all kinds of stuff here. Plenty of carbon. Oop, let it overheat. Uh oh. Oh, sorry. Uh-oh. Do I not have anything to... Oh, here we go. I was doing it from the wrong menu. Alright, let's find some more... I'm looking for ferrite dust now. Okay, so one thing I'm aware of is if I start scanning this stuff, I'll be able to get secondary elements on some of them. I haven't named it yet, that is. No. Here we go. Uh, here it was unidentified. Where'd it go? Up for what we need to build. I think that should do us. Where's our ship? There we are. Alright, so how do I how do I split those? I used to know how to do that. Um, yeah, there's no way to change the numbers. There we go. Okay, the left or the right analog stick is how you do that. And you only need 40, so let's put 40 in there. Alright, and begin. This is going to take a minute to run. Uh, okay, well, 
not a lot else we can do at the time for the time being. Except for maybe explore some of this stuff here. We haven't really gone through this yet. Ooh, I got a Oh, I see you gotta it requires an atlas pass. Get some dehydrogen. That's useful. See, that one requires an atlas pass. I don't think this one does, though. I've already opened it. I've already checked that. Is it done? I think it's done. Next, it wants some pure ferrite. Wait, how many? Might as well go ahead and put this on there for now. I need 50 pure ferrites. Put that in the ship. There we go. Exit. Go to inventory. Look at my ship. Check out the thrusters. Oh, 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 oh. I think this is it. Oh, right. I do want to keep the re portable refiner. All systems functional. Return to your ship. Bye, guys. Here we go. Use LG to grip the throttle. Push the throttle forwards to take off. Hold RG and lift the cockpit handle to exit. Here we go. You ready? I'm about to take off. Let's go to space. We're upside down. Oh boy, this is kind of hard to fly like this. Let's go take some tricks. Here we go. Exiting the atmosphere now. Oh. Okay, so you can do barrel roll with your right analog stick. Up and down doesn't seem to do anything, but you can do all of that with your joystick. This is a going to take some getting used to for me. Okay, so there's the... How do I... There we go. Hold X. Yes! And I'm pretty sure the space station's on the other side of that planet. Oh. Alright, how do I point your left hand to access the quick menu? Incoming transmission source number 4925B. Please identify yourself. I'm. Let's identify ourselves. We got nothing to hide. You are not. You are not alone. 
follow the broadcast ends as strangely as it begins. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. We'll put the coordinates in. Back. Navigation data received. Yeah. Yep, we can do that, but first um, I want to go to the space station so we can land and we'll call this a successful video. This has been so much fun. I'm really looking forward to this series. I hope I can get some of you to come along with me because this is enjoyable for me. And I hope to share it with a bunch of other people. Alright. Um, did I miss? That's okay. We'll just... We'll head down here and... Go to the signal source. I thought the space station was right around here. I thought I saw it on the radar. Where's my boost at? Should fly me into it. Okay, so it looks like we'll just go ahead and land at this approximate location, jump out and make a save. And we'll end the video there. Too hard to initiate landing. Okay, we'll, we'll go down. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely going to take some getting used to. Um, like I said, the controls are definitely different than the Xbox, but that's to be expected. There's our save point. We are now on a new planet. And the end of the first episode of a new series. This has been so much fun. If you enjoyed what you got to see today and you made it this far, I would really appreciate a like. If you want to leave a comment, please do so. Any Anything you want to say about the show. Um, and, you know, consider dropping a subscription. It's how our, how our small YouTubers grow. Thanks for stopping by.